So, wir sind hier in Fürstenfeldbruck bei den First Playhouse Action Days. Ähm, ähm, ein Riesenturnier mit 128 Teilnehmern. Es sind viele internationale Stars ähm, hier nach Fürstenfeldbruck gekommen. Einen habe ich jetzt links neben mir. Das ist Phil Buffert. Phil Buffert, it's uh, nice to have you here, um, here in Germany. How, how is it like? How do you feel? Um, how is it? Um, I've, I've been felt to, uh, to be very welcomed here. Um, the arena is great, people have been lovely, um, the service has been great, anything I've needed I've always got, it's been really really good. Yeah, so, perfect, sounds great. And you're with, the, with your all uh, guys are with you, uh, Daryl, uh, Mark, and I think that's a, a good combination and you, um, you understand very well each other and you're, you're friends and not, not only pool players, huh? Yeah, I mean we, we travel the world from tournament to tournament, you know, going uh, from, to uh, from different places and uh, To have, a, to have them all there every event, it sort of feels like we're not just players, but we're also friends. And on the table, it's obviously we're, we're there to win. But off the table, we always have a laugh and joke, and you know, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's a good atmosphere. Yeah. We, we met um, uh, in Austria at the Euro Tour uh, stop in Austria at the bar. Uh, I told you the joke a uh, man is walking into the grocery, bought 10 eggs. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Went out of the grocery. Went into, felt into a police officer, the axe fell down, what did he do? <laughs> Remember? Oh, and then it goes on again, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes, goes on, 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 on again, again, again. We had a lot of, lot of fun there, yeah. and uh, it was good. <laughs> Now, you played a Euro Tour, um, it's the hardest um, uh, series in the world, I think. Or? So many good players there. Yeah, um, I've played, I lived in the States for quite a few years, and I uh, played a lot out there. And the, the competition out there is just not as high as it is in, the, in Europe, you know, there's a... Uh, there's probably 20, 25, 30 people that can win at each event. So, and then and then there's even players that maybe can't win the event but will, will beat you if you don't play your game, you know? It's so hard to get through that field of players. So, the likes of the top Europeans, I mean, they're just so good. And then I think that's why we're so good in the Moscone Cup because we're just, these guys are just robots, really. Yeah, that's, it changes the uh, last um, 10 years. Yeah? America was so so strong. Um, they had a lot of good players, 15, 20 good players to send to the Moscone Cup 15 years ago. And now it's totally different. Now it's the Europeans. You can pick 20 people and uh, you can beat America. Yeah, um, uh, I mean, I think the over, over in the States, the equipment's um, dirty and the balls are dirty and uh, the guys are in cash games and everything else. So I think that, that there's a different mentality over there. Over here, we, we've got always clean equipment. Um, it's all tournament based. You know, there's a lot of um, there's, there's a lot of differences between the two games. And I just think that the tournament game now is, is so high with the Europeans and that's why we're doing so well now. Yeah. You're a young guy, but you have a lot of experience now. You, you won a big tournament in, in USK and in, uh, in, in USA um, in the final against Francisco Bustamante. You beat him. Yeah. He didn't know you, I think, or he asked Phil who? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the top guys over there, sort of, that's when I broke into it. And uh, like, I, beat, I played another tournament and I beat Meek Rimmon in the final. And he, he only knew sort of who I was through Raj just because they're good friends. So. Yeah. To, to have these guys not really know who I am and then for me to come along and beat them, it's a bit like, whoa, but then that sort of gets my name out there, so yeah. now... You make your name, yeah, yeah that's name yeah, well. that's perfect. Um, um, the English people, the English uh, pool players normally uh, are coming from snooker or from Blackpool, yeah? but you were a, a clear pool player, you learned pool and that's it? Yeah, um, I mean, I played a bit of snooker when I was sort of younger and... Um, I've, I've had centuries and stuff like that, and but I never played to the levels of like Mark and Chris and uh, Daryl and them. Mm -hmm. I just didn't compete at that level because um, when I was 14, at the, the British Tour came through my club and I watched and I sort of got involved with that and um, I got on the junior tour there and then my junior sort of pool playing career kicked off and I was a British champion four times and then a European champion and then that's when it sort of just sunk in that I don't really need to play snooker because yeah. the pool side of it I enjoy so much so what's yeah. the point you know it's a lot of fun here <laughs> yeah. pool playing yeah um you're uh, um I think Daryl is a little bit of your mentor is it is mm -hmm. he is it he yeah Daryl helps me out and he uh he shows me little things but then on the other hand I'm quite good for him because I sort of show him little pieces and maybe because we watch each other game every game we play yeah. so we watch each other yeah. so it's always nice to have know that there's at least one person there supporting you yeah. and they're um if 
he he makes like a little mistake. I, I maybe point out why didn't you go this way, and then he goes, oh yeah, that's something. And we open each other's minds up, you know, and yeah. that's that's why we're being successful, I guess, as yeah. a team, you know. Yeah, great. That's it's great to 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 watch you. Uh, now come let's talk to to 10 minutes ago you, you finished your match yeah mm -hmm. it's a it's a match uh, to a race to 10 a 10 ball um for 500 euros yeah, yeah. 250 euros per person mm -hmm. and you uh, you won this match and um how does it feel how, how did you feel because you can <laughs> see uh, you um, you had an injury um, um this week tell me about the injury what yeah. what's what's happened um Well, basically, um, I, I had some a little sort of flare up with my knee, um, and I played soccer or football on uh, Monday night, and woke up Tuesday morning and I couldn't walk. Yeah. So I thought to myself, "Wow, uh, where do I go from here? Do I come to this event? Do I not?" So I sort of didn't walk on it or anything for a couple of days. Went to the hospital, um, and then I ended up um, sort of saying, "I'll come on crutches, see how I do." Because I, I thought to myself, if I'm one of the seeded, seeded players, um, people want me to come um, and people want to see me play and stuff. So I thought I can't let people down. So now I'm here on crutches. <laughs> yeah. and, and I know I'm, I'm a pool player also, not that good like you. But I know it's a, for a pool player it's, it's important, uh, the right standing, you have the right uh, um, uh, for fixing for your cup, uh, for your uh, movement. And so that's difficult to play, I think. But you're doing very well. Yeah. Tell me about your game. You won this game against Sebastian Stab. Mm -hmm. He's a local German player, a really good player. You didn't know him, I think. Um, he didn't play in... in um, no, I, I've never played him before but yeah. I've, I know the name I mean he's around he's, he's been around and uh, he's a very established player I mean he's yeah. he's one of the top Germans and uh, so I, I knew I had my work cut out and I didn't sort of I, to be honest I didn't know how the leg was going to affect me it was almost like a test to see what would happen um, and luckily it didn't affect me too much there was one shot I remember I played a six ball down the rail onto yeah, the seven yeah. and I couldn't get I wanted to put my weight on my right foot on my right leg but I can't do that so I had to play I had to stretch on my left leg and sort of just play shape to uh, into the corners to play the seven in the corner into the long corner yeah, so remember the shot, yeah. yeah so then uh, that was where my leg sort of came in but I thought to be honest my leg would be affecting me big on the break because obviously there's a lot of movement and power and stuff yeah. in the break but to be honest I was I was honestly all right so I thought if I did lose, I can't blame my leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. It was a great game, um, um, great to watch. And Sebastian, yeah, of course, he's a really great player. Um, the the German Open, uh, German Championship finished last week. He's mm -hmm. the most successful player at the German uh, Championships. Yeah, he won the ten ball event, and he's a great ten ball player. And but you're the better man today. <laughs> Um, thank you for being here in Germany. Um, what's the next st uh, steps for you? Is it is it you move uh, to to the Euroto stop in Castel Yeah, I go to uh, Italy for the Euroto, and then um, a couple of weeks later, there's um, the GB9 um, tour, and then after that is the British Open, um, and it's it's going to be a really good event. So we're trying to get all the Europeans over to test test what they've got, yeah. um, and then it's I think it's off to Italy again for the European Open. Yeah. So quite a lot of traveling before Christmas. Yeah, I, I wish you good luck for every event. Uh, good luck for tomorrow. You're in the in yeah. the final, um, uh, and um, yeah, great to have you here. Great to see you playing, and yeah, good luck and good <laughs> luck for you, your knee. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. All right. No problem. Thanks. Perfect.